Welcome. Today we'll see TSTET 2022 EVS question paper with answers held on 12 June 2022. Part Environmental Science Content Questions. Question number 121. Identify the sequence of the three main layers present in the eye from outer to inner. They are asked from outer to inner. The image I have attached on the right side. So you can see the three main things are the first one is sclera and then choroid and then retina. That is from outer to inner. Sclera, choroid, retina. So answer is option 3. Sclera, choroid and retina. Next question. Question number 122. Which among the following is not a non-renewable resource? They are asking which is not a non-renewable resource. The options given are fossil fuels, air, water and sunlight. So there is a mistake in this. So that's why an ad score was given because we know non-renewable means examples petrol, diesel, kerosene, coal, all these are non-renewable. Whereas renewable is solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy, all this comes under the examples of renewal. That's why ad score was given for this. Question number 123. According to ancient Indian cartographers, India is located in this. 1. Jambu Dvipa, 2. Karaunch Dvipa, 3. Salmai Dvipa, 4. Sakha Dvipa. And answer is option 1. Jambu Dvipa. And this is given in social textbook class 8. So in this it's written India, Bharat Vasha was located on one of the islands called Jambu Dvipa. Next question number 124. A girl named Shoka travelled from Dispo to Shillong. She travelled in this direction, east, west, north or south. On the left side I have given the map. You can see from Dispo to Shillong. Here is a Dispo and here is a Shillong. So she is coming downwards. So downwards means this is north. So downwards means south. So answer is option 4, south. Next question, question number 125. Consider the following. Place district. Place 1 Amrabad, Elishwaram, Pandavalagutha, Ganpur. On the right hand side district A. Jai Shankar Gopalpali, B. Nagar Karnul, C. Adilabad, 4. Nalgonda. And we have to choose the correct match for this. And in the Telangana state places to visit uh, class 8 textbook backside you can see the answers for this. And the answer exact answer is option 1 Amrabad, Nagar Karnul, 2. Eleshwaram. Nalgonda, 3. Pandavalagutta, Jaishankar Bhopalpalli, 4. Ghanpur, Adilabad. Question number 126. The story of Bhakta Kannapa is in this Purana. Linga Purana, Periya Purana, Brahma Purana, Shiva Mahapurana. And in social textbook of class 6, you can see that 12th century book in Tamil called Periya Purana. And uh, narrates a famous story of Bhakta Kanappa. So the answer is option 2, Periya Purana. Next, 127. The Indian astronomer who said that the sun does not revolve around the earth is 1. Varaha Mihra, 2. Brahma Gupta, 3. Bhaskara, 4. Aryabhata. In social textbook class 6, it's clearly given that Aryabhata wrote a book called Aryabhatiyam in which he said that Earth rotates causing day and night that actually and that actually the sun did not go round the earth. So in this book he said that so answer is uh, option 4 Aryabhatta and the book name is Aryabhattiyam. 128. The government should provide free and compulsory education for children aged 6 to 14 years. If not provided the following right is violated. 1. Right to freedom. 2. Cultural and educational rights. 3. Right to equality. 4. Right against exploitation. The answer is option 1. Right to freedom. Next question. Question number 129. The Indian National Army hoisted the national flag here in March 1944. Itanagar, Agarthala, Port Blair, Kohima. And in social textbook of class 8, it's clearly given that in March 1944, the Indian flag was hoisted in Kohima. And you can read the first paragraph also in which many details are given regarding that. So here the answer is option 4, Kohima. 130. The woman who did not represent the Constituent Assembly of India is 1. Dakshayani Velayudam, 2. Lakshmi Sehgal, 3. Sarojini Naidu, 4. Anna Maskarain. The answer is option 2, Lakshmi Sehgal. 131. Identify the false statement in the following regarding the retreating monsoon season. 
one the atmosphere is very oppressive due to low humidity in the air this is called october heat not only clear sky but also rise in temperature the soil will be still moist and uh, according to october heat uh, the months of october and november for a period of transition from hot rainy season to dry winter conditions so this retreat of the monsoon is marked by clear skies and rise in temperature while day temperatures are high nights are cool and pleasant the land is still moist owing to the condition of high temperature and humidity the water becomes oppressive during the day this is known as october heat so this is the definition of the october heat and in this clearly it's given that owing to the conditions of high temperature and humidity that is both temperature and humidity will be high but here in the option it is given see the atmosphere is very oppressive due to low humidity and that is wrong there has a false statement only so option 1 is false trees like oak ash beech birch are mostly found in these forests temperate evergreen forests temperate deciduous forest tropical evergreen forests tropical deciduous forest and the answer is option 2 temperate deciduous forest and this is given in social textbook of class 9 see uh, under the heading of temperate deciduous forests is given the common trees are oak ash beech and birch etc now question number 133 from the following identify the current sequence in making of paper so they are asking the current sequence of making the paper and this is given in 7th class social book first comes chipping and then making wood pulp and then spreading the pulp then pressing it and then cutting it now next 124 for this also add score was given the constitution of india gives the following powers to the governor in the affairs of the state one judicial powers two partial judicial powers three legislative powers four executive powers so for this also add score was given and answer for this uh, Uh, is given in social class seven, which is given here. Governor, you can go through it. Question number one thirty five. Identify the cell organelle in which cellular respiration takes place from the following: chloroplast, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, mitochondria. So, in ninth class biology textbook, it's clearly given that mitochondria are responsible for cellular respiration. So, answer for this is option four, mitochondria. One thirty-six. Identify the gland that secretes glucagon from the following: lungs, pancreas, liver, or kidney. And this is given in tenth class biology book. So, from this you can see in the last para here, glucagon. It's by pancreas. So, answer is option two, pancreas. Remaining is also given. You can go for for your reference. One thirty-seven. Identify the correct sentence regarding the transpiration. Transportation of water from the soil to plant cells. Transportation of water in between the plant cells. Release of excess water into the atmosphere through the stomata. Transportation of water from the roots to the shoots. In class ten biology textbook, it's given that we know that this type of evaporation of water through leaves is called as transpiration. So transpiration means evaporation of water through leaves. Water evaporates through stomata of the leaves and lenticles of stem. So answer is option three: release of excess water into the atmosphere through the stomata. Next question, question number one thirty-eight. Identify the consumers of the food chain from the following: microorganisms, shrubs. plants or animals so answer is option 4 animals and this is given in biology textbook of class 8 a food chain consists of producers herbivores and carnivores and omnivores or organisms that feed both on animals and plants herbivores carnivores and omnivores are consumers so identify the consumers they are so animals are the consumers Question number one thirty nine. Identify the soil origins from the top layer to the bottom. They are asking the soil origins from top layer to the bottom. The image is given here on the right hand side. The first is O, that is organic layer. Then A, topo soil. E, alluvial layer. B, subsoil. C, parent rock. R, bed rock. So answer is option three. O, A, E, B, C, R. Next question number one forty. Hormone responsible for the secondary sexual character in girls is now this is given in biology textbook class eight. The answer is estrogen. 
Next question number 141. Which among the following is not an oviparous? So in textbook biology class 8, it's given regarding oviparous and viviparous also it's given. So which among this is not a oviparous? So answer here is option 1, bat. You can read it from the information which is given on the right hand side. The animals which lay eggs are called oviparous while those which give birth to their offsprings are called viviparous. So here they ask which is not an oviparous. Which is not an oviparous. Oviparous means which lays eggs or which does not lay eggs. So bat, pigeon, eagle, sparrow. So the answer is bat. Question number 142. Identify the male part of the flower. Petals, sepals, gynosium, androsium. This is in biology class 7th textbook. See stamens of the flower are together called the male part or androsium. So the answer is 4 androsium. Question number 143. Chemicals used to test the carbohydrates in the food. 1 copper sulphate, 2 spirit, 3 potassium hydroxide, 4 iodine. Answer is option 4 iodine. Question number 144. Identify the desert plant from the following. Mangrove, cactus, red sandalwood, valisneria. So answer is option 2, cactus. Now methodology. Question number 145. Which one of the following statements is not correct related to objectives of continuous comprehensive evaluation CCE? 1. Maintain desired standard of attainment. 2. Use evaluation for improvement of students achievement through diagnosis and remediation. 3. Making evaluation an integral part of teaching learning process. 4. Provide no scope for self-evaluation. So, which is not correct. So, the fourth one is not correct. Remaining three are correct. Provide no scope for self-evaluation. Question number 146. After listening to the topic, child rights, a class by student is able to explain the child rights clearly in his own words. It aims at achievement of this academic standard. One, questioning hypothesis. Two, experiments and field observations. Three, conceptual understanding. Four, information skills or project. So, here they understood the concept. So, the, it is option 3, conceptual understanding. 147, class 5 students visited the place where pots are made and they got experience of process of pot making. This refers to the following experience. 1, olfactory. 2, gustatory. 3, auditory. 4, kinesthetic. So, answer is 4, kinesthetic because here they are visiting, they are getting the experience of the process. So, they are making it also. So, when they are getting the experience, they are making. So, uh, they are having movement. So, that is why it is kinesthetic. 148. A primary teacher involved children in a campaign in the village for conservation of water and they spent considerable time interacting with the villagers. This approach, one, breaks monotony in learning and to, prov and to provide contextual learning environment. Two, improves social skills of students. Three, enhances the students' knowledge on sources of water. Four, ensures the students that they could relate the water resources to water conservation. So, answer is option two, improves social skills of the students when they are going out speaking so they are improving their social skills 149 which one of the resources is helpful for completing the project work based on the reviews on water pollution one assignment two seminar three classroom four library so here what they use library answer is option for the resources helpful his library resources 150. Which one of the following develops critical thinking and intellectual honesty among the pupils? 1. Social behavior. 2. Philosophical thinking. 3. Scientific temper. 4. Psychological approach. So, answer is option 3. Scientific temper. By this, we have completed all the 30 questions of EVS that is environmental science. Thank you.